by the formula to nominate a member to hold ministerial office. I would therefore call on Arling Foster as nominating officer of the political party for which the formula laid down in section 18 gives the highest figure to select a ministerial office and nominate a person to hold it who is a member of his or her party and of the Assembly. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I choose the Department for the Economy and I nominate Diane Dodds, MLA. Will Diane Dawes affirm or confirm that uh, she is willing to uh, take up office and affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I confirm that I am willing uh, to take up the, of, uh, the office of Minister for the Economy, and I affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office as set out in Schedule 4 to the Northern Ireland Act 1998. Thank you. The member Diane Dawes is now the Minister for the Economy. I will call on call on uh, Michelle O'Neill. Can, uh, can I nominate Connor Connor Murphy Murphy to the post of Minister for Finance? Will Connor Murphy confirm? that he is willing to take up the office and affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office. Thank you, Tommy Tilchinak, Black Lash and Roll Shaw. I confirm I am willing to take up the office of the Minister for Finance and I affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office as set out in Schedule 4 of the Northern Ireland Act 1998. <coughs> Conor Murphy is now the Minister for Finance. I will call on I call on Arlene Foster as nominating officer of the political party for which the formula laid down. Section 18 gives the highest figure to select a ministerial office and nominate a member to hold it who is a member of his or her party and of the Assembly. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I choose the Department of Education and I nominate Peter Weir, MLA. Will Peter Weir confirm that he is willing to take up the office and affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office? Mr Speaker, I confirm that I am willing to take up the office of Minister of Education and I affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office as set out in Schedule 4 uh, to the Northern Ireland Act 1998. Peter Weir is now the Minister for Education. Here we go next. I call on Michelle O'Neill as nominating officer of the political party of the political party for which the formula laid down in section 18 gives the highest figure to select the ministerial office and nominate a member to hold it who is a member of his or her party of the Assembly. Can I confirm that we wish to take the Department of Communities and can I nominate Dirty Hargy MLA as the Minister? Dirty Hargy is now Minister for the Department for the Will Dirty Hargy confirm that uh, she is willing to take up office and affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office? Yeah, I confirm that I am willing to take up the office of Minister for the Department of Communities and I affirm the terms of the pledge of the office as set out in Schedule 4 to the Northern Ireland Act 1998. The member Derry Hargy is now Minister for the Department for Communities. I call on Kelly as nominating officer of the political party for which the formula laid down in section 18 gives the highest figure to select a ministerial office and nominate a member to hold it who is a member of his or her party of the Assembly. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the SDLP, it is my particular pleasure to nominate our party's deputy leader, uh, Nicola, Nicola Mallon, as, uh, for the Department of Infrastructure. Will the member Nicola Mallon confirm that she is willing to take up the office and affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office? Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, I confirm that I am willing to take up the office of Minister for Infrastructure and I affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office as set out in Schedule 4 to the Northern Ireland Act 1998 and I sincerely thank my party for the nomination. Mr Mallon is now the Minister for the Department for Infrastructure. I call on Steve Aiken as nominating officer of the political party for which the formula laid down in section 18 gives the highest figure to select a ministerial office and nominate a member to hold it who is a member of his party and of the Assembly. 
Uh, thank, you, uh, thank you, Speaker. I will be nominating Robin Swan MLA as the new Minister of Health for Northern Ireland. Will the member Robin Swan confirm that he is willing to take up? <laughs> Speaker, I confirm that I am willing to take up the office of Minister of Health, and I affirm the terms of the pledge of office as set out in the Schedule Four of the Northern Ireland Act, 1998. Member Robin Swan is now the Minister for the Department for Health. Okay. I, I call on Arlene Foster as nominating officer of the political party for which the formula laid down in section 18 gives the highest figure to select a ministerial office and nominate a member to hold it who is a member of her party and of the Assembly. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, what is left and what we are very happy to take is the Department for Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs and I nominate Edwin Poots, MLA. The member, Edwin Poots, confirmed that he is willing to take up the office and affirm the terms of the pledge of office. I confirm that I am willing to take up the office of Minister for Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs, and I affirm the terms of the pledge of office as set out in Schedule 4 to the Northern Ireland Act 1998. The member, Edwin Poots, is now the Minister for Agriculture, Environment and Rural Development. Is that the correct title? I want, first of all, to uh, thank the Assembly for the, uh, your patience. And that uh, concludes the appointment of ministers on the Dehan process. And I offer my congratulations to all of those who have taken up office. I'd like to pause. Thank you. The next item of business on the order paper.